Thank you for joining Custom Looks Clothier, the runway show. This is Evie Edwards, and I'm here with the esteemed former Lieutenant Governor Michael Steele. Mr. Steele, thank you for joining us. Great to be. It's going to be a great evening. Looking forward to it. Absolutely. So privileged to have your attendance here at the show tonight. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, Bob has done a phenomenal job. I, I, I love that entrepreneurial spirit to begin with. Uh, and to watch it grow and flourish, particularly in Prince George's County, it's been very exciting. So, uh, got to come out and support the, you know, the home team. So, it's, it's great to be here tonight. Tell me, how were you first introduced to Quab at Samoas? We, uh, I don't know, we kind of met at, a, at an event or two, and um, I know a couple of guys who got shirts and other things from him, and, and I fell in love with his style of clothing and the way he approaches uh, dressing particularly African-American men um, and uh, so I hooked up with him and we haven't looked back since and here we are yeah it's it's, it's he does uh, very intriguing types of designs and um, it's, it's quality is is top-notch and so you got to support that you know it's top dollar top-notch I've met you on a few occasions yep. and every time I've seen you you've always been very fashion forward and very Dapper. Well, I what inspires that. your fashion sense? Well, you know, I think a lot of it is I, I love the um, the style of the of the 20th 20th century, particularly the 30s and the 40s. Um, the sort of Harlem look, uh, you know. Yeah, it, and it's just it's just something about it. When I was a young boy, that stu stuck with me. And so the idea of having the the pocket chip, you know, in place and and having the the collar just right. It means something, so I, I try to do that, particularly in my business, you know, where you're out with people all the time and you see the public. Uh, you want to send a statement that, um, you know, you take the time to look good, work hard, and feel good, right. Now, outside of the fashion industry, what, tell us what you're doing. Well, since, uh, since stepping down as lieutenant governor in January, I've uh, become a partner in an international law firm, LeBuff, Lamb, Green, and McRae. Uh, and I've been uh, asked to sort of build an Africa practice for them. So we're doing a lot of work, beginning to do a lot of work on the continent, trying to bring business here, take business there. So any of you are looking to do business in Africa, give me a call. Uh, but also in the, the, the Caribbean, doing a lot of work in the Caribbean as well, working with a number of countries there. So I'm very excited about that. And in politics, I, you know, I'm running GOPAC, which is a national uh, grassroots training organization, training candidates to get elected. And uh, so it's been busy, it's been fun, I'm making a little money and, and having a, a good time keeping my finger in politics, so it works. Well, I know that Cobb is from Ghana, and I yep. know that you have plans on going to Ghana. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing there? Well, we've been doing a lot of uh, work with the Ghanaian government, in particular uh, in the areas of energy and uh, infrastructure development. And, and Quab is one of those entrepreneurs who's got a, a, a burgeoning business on the ground there, uh, which is, from all accounts, doing very, very well. And so it's that, that spirit of uh, taking the risk to go there, as well as those who want to come here that we've been trying to capture. Uh, and I'm hoping to be working with Quab and his ventures there. Uh, and Ghana is one of the hot spots on the continent to be. So it's, uh, it is a, a real opportunity that I, I want to be on the forefront of, uh, my attitude is, look, we should be wherever the Chinese are, and the Chinese are in Africa in a big way, so we need African Americans to get back involved uh, on the continent, and so we're trying to bring a lot of black-owned businesses there as well. Well, I'm not going to keep you much longer. I want you to go out and enjoy the show, well, thank you very but much. I have one last question sure. for you. Why do you prefer the Custom Looks brand? Because it's the only brand out there that actually fits me. It works. I feel good and comfortable in the clothing. Uh, and it's exciting wear, and uh, people comment on it. Stylish points, you know. Thank you for joining. Thank you very, very much. Enjoy the show. I thank you.